Happy October, Richmond County. Welcome to your Monday edition of Live at 5. I'm Russell Parker. After last week's tough road loss to Pinecrest, any chance of Richmond had of returning to the postseason conversation weighed heavily on defeating Hope County. Besides Pinecrest and Richmond, the Bucks are the only other 4A presence in the SAC, so defeating them was a must for the Raiders. To beat the Bucks, Richmond needed to find a way to stop stud running back Ethan Wallace and Hoke's potent rushing attack that heavily contributed to scoring 50-plus points in victories against both Southview and Scotland. The Raider defense did just that, limiting the Bucks to just 78 rushing yards on route to a 40-21 homecoming victory. With the win, Richmond moves to 3-4 on the season and 2-1 and in SAC play. It was just a brief visit to Raider Stadium as Richmond will once again be on the road next week when it travels to Cameron to face the Union Pines Vikings. Richmond's JV football team got off to a slow start in its SAC game at Hope County on Wednesday evening. Its first half offensive possessions yielded just 61 yards and ended in three punts and a fumble, resulting in a 6-0 halftime deficit. After the break, the Raiders dominated in all facets of the game to score 23 unanswered points in a pivotal win to improve to 3-0 in conference play. Richmond, Scotland, and Lee County all remain undefeated in the SAC play. The Raiders will host Union Pines at Raiders Stadium on Thursday. With Ella Munn sidelined with an injury, Jason McCray was Richmond Senior's sole golfer in Monday's match at Pinehurst number 6. The sophomore shot a 140 in the first 18-hole match of the season. Next week's match has been postponed until Tuesday and will be played at Whispering Pines Country Club. The Lady Raiders will tee off at 2 p.m. And it was a tough week for the Lady Raiders varsity volleyball team. On Tuesday, they fell 3-0 to conference leader Pinecrest. Thursday's match at Hope County was moved ahead to Wednesday to avoid conflicting with other scheduled changes due to Hurricane Ian. Richmond had difficulty managing a strong serving performance from Hope, allowing the Lady Bucks to string together points and go on multiple long runs. Richmond dropped the match in three sets. The Lady Raiders dropped to 8-10 overall and 4-5 and five as an SAC with the loss. Richmond will play at Union Pines next Tuesday at 6 p.m. The Richmond varsity soccer team started the week strong with a big win over visiting Scotland. On Wednesday, the Raiders dropped a tough 4-2 match to visiting Southern Lee. Juniors Daniel James and James Eason each scored for the Raiders in the loss. Richmond had its Thursday evening match with Northwood canceled due to the various scheduled changes associated with Hurricane Ian and will next host Pinecrest on Monday. The Richmond Senior Cross Country teams traveled to Sanford where they ran against host Southern Lee as well as Pinecrest and Lee County. Pinecrest swept the event, finishing first in both the girls' and boys' races. The Lady Raiders finished in second place with Mariana Mendez leading the way for Richmond with a time of 22.48, resulting in a third place finish. For the Raiders, Christian Sanchez finished 25th with a time of 21.32. When we return, we've got your Live at 5 weather report is coming up after the break, so stay tuned. My name is Jason Ganey. I'm a candidate for Richmond County Commissioner. I'm born and raised here in Richmond County, a graduate from Richmond Senior High School. I believe the path forward is clear for Richmond County, but I'll need your help. First, I'll need your prayers. Pray that I would be an honorable servant of the community. Pray that I would listen to the community members and find out their heart and their desire for their future. And this November, vote. Vote for me, Jason Ganey, to help secure the path forward for our community. God bless you. Thank you. Excuse me, what is your name? I've seen you somewhere before. I'm Reverend C.F. McDowell III. I'm the pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Fairmont. Have you been to my church? No, but I know where I've seen you, on the Richmond Observer. That's right. I am the host of the new feature on the Richmond Observer called Richmond Observes, and I want to help you observe why Richmond County is so rich. It's the people. And through some casual conversations, I want to introduce you to some folks from the everyday walk of life in Richmond County. So join me, C.F. McDowell III, for Richmond Observes on the Richmond Observer. Hometown heroes? Well, maybe. 
When it comes to backyard comfort and no pesky mosquitoes, call Brown Termite and Pest Control at 910-895-6410 or 910-276-8870. Their team of superheroes can take back control of your paradise. That's 910-895-6410 today. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. And welcome to your live by Weather Report, Rich County. Hope you did well over the weekend as Hurricane Ian rolled through on Friday, pouring down lots of rain across the county and North Carolina, uh, all across the state. South Carolina got hit hard with the landfall, the second landfall uh, of the United States for Hurricane Ian, uh, just north of Charleston where it landed and it passed right on through Richmond County late in the evening uh, with what was kind of still the eye of it, we'll put in quotes the eye of Ian at that point, it was a post-tropical storm, but uh, had it still been strong and the eye would have continued on if it was still a strong storm, well, it probably would have been a really devastating uh, Friday evening for everyone. But luckily, uh, things stayed relatively calm other than the wind, the wind was up pretty high. Uh, we did have a few trees getting knocked down. There was one that had been cut down uh, on US South, uh, US number one South, uh, and also we've even had one uptown Rockingham uh, also fall over. Luckily, it uh, didn't fall on any house or any road. It kind of fell in, if you're gonna have a fall, tree fall, it's probably about the best spot that it could fall in. I can see here on our, on our photos right now. Uh, so yeah, other than a few trees down, maybe some power lines being down as well, a couple power outages. Overall, we were able to get through it uh, relatively well, especially when you consider uh, some of the devastating impacts that Ian had on the state of Florida and South Carolina and other parts of North Carolina. So I, I think we got out pretty good here. And luckily there isn't really any storms on the way right this moment. There are a few out there in the Atlantic, but right now they're about a 40 to 60% chance of becoming a tropical storm. And uh, so far, we'll keep on through on that as uh, it becomes relevant to here. But right now, it looks like the paths for those are not on its way towards Richmond County. Uh, so looking at tonight, though, we're back to party cloudy skies as we have been all day long. We actually started off the day with a lot of clouds. Uh, 6 o'clock, 66 degrees, 10 o'clock, 56 with clear skies for the evening. Sunset will be at 7 o'clock and waxing crescent moon phase will be out tonight. Take a look at the forecast for tomorrow. We got 70s on the way with some 40s for the low. Cumberland County a high of 67, a low of 49. Hope County a high of 68 and a low of 48. Robeson County a high of 69 and a low of 49. With Scotland seeing a high of 71 and a low of 49. Up in Moore County a high of 67 and a low of 47. Here in Richmond County, we'll be seeing a high of 71 and a low of 47. Across the PD in Anson County, a high of 70 and a low of 48. And Marlboro County, a high of 71 and a low of 49. And we're pretty much done with the rain for at least the next seven days because we are seeing nothing but sunshine and clouds over this week and into next weekend. Uh, or excuse me, this coming weekend rather. Tuesday, party cloudy skies, a high of 71, a low of 47. Wednesday, party cloudy skies, a high of 73 and a low of 50. On Thursday, sunny skies, a high of 77 and a low of 49. With Friday, a high of 80 and a low of 53. 
On Saturday, party cloud weather, high of 67, low of 44. Then Sunday, sunny skies, a high of 65 and a low of 43. And next Monday, looking to be really nice as well. Party cloud skies with a high of 70 and a low of 47. So that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report. And for tonight's edition of Live at 5, for the latest news, sports, and events happening in Richmond County, you can always visit richmondobserver.com or download the free RO app for your mobile devices. For the Live at 5 crew, I'm Russell Parker. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Rich Gang.